this is how xenophobia starts. It's not a thing of one day. That's in maybe it's political, right? I understand that it could be political that this man is being against what Nigerians are doing in Ghana. You feel like when you are hyping the country, it makes the government in power to look good. For me, I don't even know which political party is in power right now. I don't even want to know. Not because I do not care about Ghana. I care. But I just believe that the majority of you, wherever you are leading us politically to go to, I'm okay with it. We go there. If we are suffering, we suffer together. If we are enjoying, we enjoy together. They call me Mumu for love. My neighbors. My Nigerian neighbors, they call me Mumu for love. Some of them are saying they are worried about the way I love Ghana, but I don't care. Because you see this country, this country says love me. I, we don't practice that in my country. In my country, that girl is always going to be a stranger in Nigeria, especially the part of Nigeria I come from. Ah, uh, oh la la. I know say a day like this will come and some people will be happy very well, especially my country people, my Nanja people. Yes, it has finally happened. They're about to send us out of Ghana. I hope that this is going to be uh, the good news you have been expecting. Anyways, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always tuning in. So, in today's video, I want to react to this video by a man in Ghana who want all of us out of Ghana, especially those of us that are creating content. He's sick and tired of Nigerians in his country and he just wants us to get out. <laughs> I honestly wish I'm not among the people he's talking about. That way, I would have reacted to the video on a neutral ground. But regardless, I'm still going to talk about it. Even though he has involved me, I'm among the people he wants out of his country. He wants us to leave his country alone because we want to tear it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play some clip from the guy's video. Take a look at it carefully and look. Tell me the honest truth down there at the comment section. If this is hatred or this is jealousy that is heading straight to xenophobia. We would like to know because make it not be like say now only south african people they do this xenophobia something let us know that the return of all the things that they we have been doing to ourselves in the past ghana and nigeria hey nigeria leave nigerians must go uh -huh. ghanaians must go if he's back so that we know because i don't get it this guy is on a campaign of whatever against nigerians living in, in ghana especially according to him content creators see if i don't react to this guy's video that means i'm a big hypocrite i am an hypocrite and a coward if i look at this guy's video sly even though someone have asked me to please not talk about it because this guy is looking for views at the end of the day people are just going to end up coming at me because i have criticized his speech against nigerians in ghana I don't have a problem with who is going to be offended. It's none of my business. So the business of the day is that hmm, what is good for the gender is good for the gender. <laughs> Let's comment down there. Am I am I on point with this? So there's a, this guy is calling on Nigerians to stop talking about his country, and because I am not a coward and I am not an hypocrite, I will speak nothing but the truth. To understand the truth is not always from one side sometimes if we want to talk the truth this is the truth the truth is not about maybe it has to do with nigerians alone against ghana or it has to do with ghanaians against nigerians the truth is the truth and i wish that this guy did not involve me in that video so that i can react freely as a center person but anyways, it's okay. Let, now let's take a look at some of the clips from the video and then I'll be back to give my opinion. Message to the Nigerian content creators. It baffles me why Nigerian content creators always talk about Ghana. If you want to create content, if they don't talk about Ghana electricity, they will talk about the Ghana education. If they don't talk about Ghana education, they will talk about Ghana water system. They don't talk about Ghana water system, they will talk about Ghana, Ghanaian's attitude. And so, Charlie, you guys, you think say be the money way they get people, the way people they watch your videos, them things where they get money, you know? 
the things that have been wrong, if I be careful, we Ghana with the hype. With the hype Ghana. So if I be careful, Nigeria be better country where they get, I mean, they get money past Ghana. But I don't know the reason why the basic amenities where Ghana get, Nigeria the struggle that they get for them a country. Guys, what's up? Charlie! I forgot to tell you guys to please like this video so if you have not kindly like and don't forget to comment down below if you think that this man is jealous and his jealousy is gradually leading him to think of xenophobia i have been thinking of it in many ways like the annoying part in the video is him the annoying part of the video for me is where he's forcing the little girl in the video to say after him stop hyping ghana talk to them let them stop hyping ghana Talk to them, say stop hyping Ghana. <laughs> that is exactly why I crucify the Reverend Father who made downgrading comments in public about another country because of the young people of his congregation. The younger people of his congregation are going to grow up disrespecting. That thing is going to stick to their head. Now, this man is teaching his daughter to tell Nigerians to stop hyping Ghana. She's going to grow up. I mean, going to grow up anywhere she sees Nigerians, all that comes to her mind is what is good for the gender is good for the grunder. <laughs> the part that is even annoying is annoying the most, apart from him teaching the little girl to say after him, the other part where he's so disrespectful towards content creators, like eh, they will come here content creator is not the only content creation is not the only job there are a lot of jobs in ghana they will come here and do content creation do you know how many people are in ghana and they're doing other things must we all be doing that and if i didn't teach you about the beauty of your country when i came here they weren't vlogging about their beautiful country so if another person come from nazareth to do the job and then you get inspired by it we do not want the person out because you're uncomfortable because you start to feel like you're feeling threatened by the person. This is the second time I've been told by a man, a Ghanaian person, to return to my country. The other ones, I didn't take them seriously because, of course, what do I expect from people in a rural area who lives and reason small? I didn't take them seriously because I knew that they were bitter about the fact that the truth came to light. Honestly... Then they say I can attest with the fact that they may have tried both spiritually and otherwise to pull me, but they can't because anything, everything that happened during that period was not intentional. It was me just innocently getting myself into something that I didn't know were all staged for them to cash out. I when someone reached out to me to reach out to them, the, the whole thing they knew that it was going to explode and then they told me to go to my country but this particular man now particular man now hating and saying we should stop talking about ghana how many nigerians will you see how many ghanaians do you see talking about this is why you should even do it dj porichi is a ghanaian and he speaks amazingly of about his love for nigeria and nigerians you get it he does that so why don't you join him i stumbled on another channel again on youtube here that talks about he gives incredible review about his love for nigeria and nigerians so if you join him to do it what is wrong with that instead of coming to tell us to stop you see me and ghana we are five and six because when i first come to this country i was just minding my business i was just being when the fetal land threw me a baby twa say take it that is your own share i grab the picking and i have her here with me <laughs> see you see we die here me and ghana <laughs> you can't separate me we are like five and six so how are you gonna do five without six fine let's get serious i am not among the nigerians that are afraid of going back to nigeria i come from a part of nigeria that i love love so much especially my village because the people are calm-headed and that is the same energy i found in ghana when i first got to ghana and that is what won my heart about ghana so i come from the part of nigeria that i'm not afraid to return to and one thing you don't know about me is that the part of nigeria i come from i am like i am like genevieve to them i am like even nelson you understand the part of nigeria that I'm, my place my tribe when they see me like i'm a celeb in my place not because i have money but if you send me back to my village right now 
people will be happy to have me back not because they want to mock me they'll be happy to have me back because of what i'm going to do living there so i'm not afraid of going back to nigeria if your campaign is targeted at that i am not afraid of going back to nigeria i will be welcomed and I, if you're afraid that nigerian youtubers are taking all from you and you want them gone i am not afraid to return home i come from the part of nigeria that i'm proud of and i love my people because they are cool-headed you, you never it's hard to see a crime happening in nigeria that involves a person from my place especially my tribe is the most the part of nigeria that everybody has confirmed to be the most friendly people on head so i'm not afraid to return home and they welcome me like the princess that i am i don't know what you're talking about this campaign you're doing and the little girl you are teaching to tell us to stop and then you went going on to say tell them eh, it's not only content creation that is in ghana when they come they should do other things i am not even going to take this personal because you and a team of others have done it to Wodemaya before in the past. That time, that time, a lot of people didn't know that when you have a YouTube channel, it's not about the money you stand to make now. It's about how you grow it to make the money later. For me, I'm not even near where I can make reasonable amounts of money on YouTube. Wodemaya in the past had had to deal with this, where people come at him on Twitter, especially majority of the people criticizing him about his choice of job are uh, from his beloved Ghana, his country. How could you, how could you abandon um, aromatic engineering certificate to go and say you are a content creator? So they didn't know. And this guy continued to create and build his channel until they start seeing him make a lot of things. He build houses, he buy cars, he goes on holiday, he do things at ease, he's loved. Like, and then he came out to tell people the amount of money that he gets paid by YouTube monthly. That is when a lot of people, all his critics, now started to pick up their camera, including this man. I am certain that this man, I will not mention his name till I finish this video, trust me. I am certain that this man is among the people that did that. Now you have seen that there is money. You want to, you want to even, you want to do YouTube and you want Nigerians gone because they are disturbing you. They are not disturbing you. One thing you have to know about YouTube is people are willing to consume as many content as they come. The thing you need to do and do differently is to do you. When you do you, nobody can copy you. Nobody can be like you. Nobody will compete with you. People are going to just genuinely feast on your channel and feast on your content because you are the one. They know where it's coming from. Rather than you feeling insecure about Nigerians in Ghana and you want them gone. And I can see comment at the, at the comment section of that video. Some by Ghanaians hailing the guy for a job well done. And then some are saying, uh, some Nigerians are saying, please deal with them well, well, well for bringing our country down. I don't get it. Before now, I wasn't even criticizing Nigerians and their attitude i wasn't i was just focused on showing off beautiful places in ghana because i am a big lover of nature but nigerians will come especially Igbo people will come on my channel and insult me mumu you have let nigeria down you have done this ha no they are Igbos. this by their names and a few yoba people they will come and say hey mumu how dare you you hate nigeria you do this one mm -hmm. uh, they cry tire even when I didn't say anything or do anything that goes against Nigerians or anything, but they were saying, they accused me of doing that. So I saw Kemeka Kukuma, they criticize the bad things that Nigerians are doing that comes to light to criticize it. Yes, to give my opinion, like I'm criticizing this guy now. They are the one now, they are crying tired. Everybody go cry tired now. Like me now, any untalented YouTuber, who want to use me to learn a skill of how to create content. When they are talking about me, you see some Nigerians saying, hey, deal with her, talk about her very well. Talk about her very well. <laughs> oh my God. Like them talking about me, what is it going to take from me? You talk about me and I find you worthy to talk back about you. I would do it. And if I feel like, you know, rich, you understand when I say, you know, rich, you know, rich, be say, you go cry tire. I don't go hear you, I don't go see him.
that is what i mean by you know rich i am not in the habit of looking down on other people but man you should focus on your on your content focus on your own channel and stop hating on your brethren mm? this is how xenophobia starts it's not a thing of one day that fine maybe it's political right i understand that i understand that it could be political that this man is being against what nigerians are doing in ghana you feel like when you are hyping the country it makes the government in power to look good for me i don't even know which political party is in power right now i don't even want to know not because i do not care about ghana i care but i just believe that the majority of you wherever you are leading us politically to go to i'm okay with it we go there if we are suffering we suffer together if we are enjoying we enjoy it together but i will never come into the affairs of the political space in ghana to say okay ah i'm supporting this one i'm supporting this one i'm campaigning for that i don't do it and i believe by now a lot of people are already aware of that on my channel i know they do um, i don't talk about what i don't know i don't I mean, I do not just jump on something I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about the political history in Ghana, apart from Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So I'll just jump and say, okay, I'm supporting this political party. Please educate me the difference. Which government is in power right now? Which political party is in power right now in Ghana? Because I don't know. I don't want to know that aspect. So if you're thinking that hyping Ghana is because it's making the government in power to look good, then you are wrong. Especially for me, it's not about the government it's about just the people and the nature and of course some of the things the policies here i don't know who implemented them if it's this present government or the past government like the health care system <laughs> see anything i say here is not it has nothing to do with politics okay in case this man in case this is why you are feeling uncomfortable Mm? I am not interested in the politics of Ghana because I believe in you guys' ability to choose wisely. You guys choose any party, any person you choose. All of us go follow so far. She be with it. Mm -hmm. And if it get too bad, say it too bad, you know, if it be around again, I will go back to my village. Do you get it? So I will let you choose. So don't feel intimidated when we are hyping Ghana. In case you are feeling like we are being political. For me, I'm not. It has nothing to do with politics. It has everything to do with my natural love for the country and for the fact that I've said it many, many times. The people here, they level-headed. Then they come. And that is the part of Nigeria I come from. We are like that. We don't make trouble. We don't ask for too much. We don't care about, you know, we just are content and we are extremely friendly and kind. That is the part of Nigeria I come from. So when I came to Ghana and I feel that energy, called, it was like magnets. What are you saying? So this man, if you want to see the full video, you can go on YouTube and search. Just go. <laughs> search for Nigerians must go. I believe if you search for that video, uh, this guy video will pop up and then you see all that he, he was spilling about Nigerian content creator already tired i'm exhausted see be comfortable when people are growing their channel it's not all about the money you are making today this same me that this guy is saying this same content creation that this guy is downgrading and saying they will not go and work they want to do content they want to do content when i start to make money on youtube now you'll be uncomfortable you start to cry now would a lot of people are crying now they're crying me a river the people that were criticizing would in um, back then are now crying mm. If people are producing content about your country, take it. It's only because of the love I have for me. It's definitely the love I have for Ghana that makes me talk about Ghana. I've stated it many times and people that know me off the internet, they don't even know I'm a content creator. They can attest to that fact that I love. They call me Mumu for love. My neighbors, my Nigerian neighbors, they call me Mumu for love. Some of them are saying they are worried about the way I love Ghana, but I don't care because you see this country, this country says love me. I just come here. I don't want picking. I was just doing me picking, grab me by force, grab me, Ghana picking, grab me. Now, where will I take that gate to Nigeria? We don't practice that in my country. In my country, that gate is always going to be a stranger in Nigeria especially the part of Nigeria I come from. She is a Ghanaian and now I have a Ghana picking already that mother Ghana has thrown at me to take for free. Now I'm grappling her. Where will I go with her? To leave and take her back to Nigeria. 
then go there they will be telling her return to your country return to your country ah africans we have to be nice i think we are quick to judge people of other races when they go against when we accuse them of racism but we we they do this tribalism and it has to stop it's not all about nigerians so some Ghanaians do it i just a majority of the people that are giving problem nigerians they do that is why you see me talking about nigerians more if i see any video again like this i'll criticize there are Ghanaians that are talking about nigerians and there are a lot of Ghanaians living in nigeria and they are happy and i'm glad they are there nothing anyone can do about that i'm a nigerian and i'm a Ghanaian. any part i want to leave i leave if i want here i'll leave here if i want to go back to my village i'll go i actually love the part of nigeria i come from thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye